please start the game from the origin or the EA app. What is this? Alright, so you have bought your EA Sports FC25 game, installed it successfully, ready to play, and when you launch the game, all of a sudden it says, please start the game from the origin or the EA app. But you are starting the game from the EA app, aren't you? So why is it telling you to start the game from the origin or the EA app when you launch the game from the EA app specifically? The worst part of this is that the origin app is even no longer in use. This is hard. So what do we do? Welcome back to my channel once again, guys. My name is Wasikson. Today we are going to fix the infamous please start the game from the origin or the EA app issue. So first of all, there are only two reasons you can get this issue. One is from the newly introduced anti-cheat and the other is from a very powerful virus that I will go further or deeper into it later in the game or later in the video. We are going to go over each and every one of them solutions. So stay tuned and kindly subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any updates and fixes from us. Alright, so the first solution has to do with the newly introduced anti-cheat software that messes up with the game launch. In order to fix this, make sure you close the EA app and then go into offline mode by disconnecting your Wi-Fi or any other internet connection that you have to go into offline mode, right? So just make sure you are doing this in offline mode. That is one critical thing you need to, to do. So make sure you are in offline mode and once you are in offline mode, go to your tray and make sure you right click on the EA app and click on exit to fully exit the EA app, right? So once this is done, we are good to go. Just look on your desktop and click on the EA Sports FC25 icon or the shortcut you see on your desktop. Right click on it and click on open file location right here, right? So you click on open file location and it's going to open the location where the EA Sports FC25 or FC24 game has been installed on your computer, right? So once this is done, let's scroll up, right? And go all the way to installer. And once you go to installer, let's go to EA Anti-Cheat, right? You double click on it and it's going to open up, right? So you right click on EA Anti-Cheat.installer and you click on run as administrator and this is going to come up, right? So you say yes and EA Anti-Cheat setup is going to open up like this. Now, all what you need to do is to click on uninstall all right here and it's going to uninstall every inch of anti-cheat installed on the PC, right? So you can see a confirmation that says uninstall success, right? So once uninstall success comes up, just make sure you click on the drop down arrow right here and look for FC25. Now this comes in with the January updates, right? This comes in with the January updates. So click on FC25 and click on install once again. So once you click on install, it's going to go through some process and it's going to install EA anti-cheat setup again, right? So once it says install success, you are good to go, but we are not fully done, right? So just click here to close the EA anti-cheat setup, right? And right click on the EA anti-cheat.installer setup again, right? Right click on it, go to properties, right? And once you go to properties, make sure that read only has been ticked, right? So yours isn't ticked, make sure read only has been ticked like this. And you click on apply, you go to OK, and you are good to go. So once that is done, all you have to do is to close this window and launch the game in offline mode, right? So I just click on my ESports FC25 shortcut here and then run as administrator and accept it as yes and wait for the game to load up in offline mode, guys. Launch the game in offline mode and voila. You don't have any launch the game from the origin app or the EA app issue again, right? So you wait for the game to load up and after the game loads up, you can now quit the game, go into online mode and you're good to go. But once you do this fix, all you have to do is to launch the game in offline mode and you are good to go. So this is one way of fixing the issue by using the anti-cheat to solve this problem. And the other one, as I said earlier, is caused by a virus, but um, that would come in a different video. So stay tuned. And as you can see, the game has opened up, right? So yeah, there we go. So this is how you solve this problem using the anti-cheat solution, right? 
So the anti-cheat is what, what was causing this problem. And that is how to, to solve it. This is the first way of solving this problem, right? The second way is by um, solving it with a virus that I mentioned earlier, the very powerful virus, but that will come in with another video. So um, if you have any problem, any issue at all, let me know what you think in the comment box below. I'll get back to you with the solutions. But for now, we'll end this video here and do the other solution, the virus solution on another video. And uh, stay tuned. Kindly subscribe and like the video if you actually enjoyed the video or if the video helped you in any way. So I'll see you in the next video with the virus solution, right? Bye-bye for now. And um, take care of yourselves.